A continuing crisis with daunting challenges. That's how a new United Nations report describes the situation of Canada's Indigenous peoples. It says while there is progress, it's not enough. The report recommends urgent action to tackle the issues of housing, health care and education in Aboriginal communities. Aboriginal Affairs Minister Bernard Valcour acknowledged those challenges, saying the government will review the recommendations carefully. The report also says a national inquiry should be called investigating the high number of murdered and missing Aboriginal women in Canada. Cameron McIntosh has that story for us. On the steps of Parliament, a ceremony to remember nearly 1,200 missing and murdered mothers, daughters and sisters. David Charette has questions about his own sister's death and feels an inquiry could get some answers. The 1,000 Aboriginal women gone without any proper investigation and uh, it just, it's not right. As he toured Canada last year, the UN Special Rapporteur James and Naya heard that very concern in all corners of the country. A pressing issue in what he's calling a crisis situation for Aboriginal people. I do think a national inquiry uh, is necessary, if only to help clarify uh, the, the nature of, of the problem. The opposition was quick to jump on the rapporteur's words. Why is this government failing to call a national inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women? The federal government says rather than study, it's focusing on action. Again, more support for police to investigate these matters, more direct action and intervention, Mr. Speaker, more programming. The report doesn't criticize that, and in places gives the government credit for trying to improve the well-being of Aboriginal people. But on this problem, where the scale is still being understood, the UN's is the latest in a growing list of voices that includes Canada's premiers, wanting an inquiry to answer the fundamental question, what more can be done? You need to do that in order to have a plan of action that will change uh, dramatically the reality of Aboriginal women. This isn't just a provincial challenge, this is a national challenge. After years of protest and lobbying within Canada, at the very least Aboriginal leaders say the UN draws outside attention to the issue. We need as much international pressure as we can, we can build on that specific matter alone. The report will be presented to the UN on Monday. Meanwhile, expect the pressure to keep going up here at home. Aboriginal leaders are calling this one of their most critical issues, especially as the number of missing and murdered Aboriginal women keeps getting revised higher. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.